Right, we are back with this uh, EcoWit um, weather station. As you might recall, this is replacing my old Aircus uh, weather sleuth that uh, failed, uh, the head end failed after a year. The first head end lasted three years and now it's no longer available. So uh, we've looked for a uh, cheap alternative and uh, came across uh, this. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is install the EcoWit app, which uh, I've done here. Uh, we've just run that and you're going to get details of uh, how to add a new weather station. So we're going to hit the add new weather station and it uh, says prior to going any further please make sure that the current app uh, has Wi-Fi and precise location permission enabled, yes. Turn off your mobile network data service, make sure your Wi-Fi works on 2.4 gigahertz band. So we're gonna go into uh, settings of the phone and uh, we're gonna turn off the uh, data, where are we? Mobile networks perhaps. Uh, 4G calling, 4G calling, that's not it. Uh, where are we? Data usage. Mobile data, uh, so we just turn that off. That's on eSIM 1, and uh, there is no other data service running there, so we should be good to go. I'm just going to go into mobile networks. Uh, and I'm just going to turn off the 4G calling. I don't think that makes any difference. But I'm going to turn everything off. So we're going to come out of that. And we're going to go back to the EcoWit. And uh, everything is turned off now, cellular wise. And we are going to check which box. Okay, we're the station. Yeah, so what we've got is the second one, which is this little EcoWit uh, hub. So we're going to tap on that. Right, if your device is connecting to your local network via Wi-Fi, uh, choose below, so Wi-Fi provisioning. So we want the first option there, we're going to hit Wi-Fi provisioning. Uh, please follow the steps below, power up the device. Okay, yeah. Uh, right, so we're going to, it comes with uh, extension lead for the Wi-Fi, sorry for the USB, so we're just going to connect it, I've got a Samsung charger here, so Wi-Fi light is flashing, okay, power up the device, uh, press the reset button for five seconds, reset button is, it seems to be suggesting it's pressing the middle like that, Wi-Fi LED starts to flash rapidly for configuration starts. Uh, it looks like it was already in that mode to me when it first powered up anyway. So let's see if we can rest that there, perhaps not. Okay, so you can see that. Okay, next mode is uh, go to wireless LAN setup. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the phone's uh, setting and we're gonna go into Wi-Fi and we're going to look for the Wi-Fi connection and in this case it is the first one that comes up it's that GW1100 right at the top there so we're going to click on that it says connecting so that is fine it just says check in your connection Connected without internet, well that's absolutely fine. Internet, internet may not be available. Uh, always connect, that's fine. Okay, so we can come out of those settings and back into this. Uh, so we are logged on. Return, 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 <laughs> come on. Return to this app after Wi-Fi connection has been established. So it looks like we tick the operation completed box and then next. Uh, 
setting gateway update interval one minute there's a drop down box there so, um, one minute is the, the most frequent setting so we're just going to confirm that publicity yeah I don't know add G okay so now we've got to add this to our uh, own router so it uh, chats to the Wi-Fi rather than through the phone normally and uh, we go through the list that's popped up and we find our GigaClear network. Now unfortunately I don't know which one is the 2.4 so we're going to have to try it. Uh, we will then input the password so let me move this away and we're going to submit that. So it's connecting to the gateway, setting up the gateway. Gateway setup is successful. Please switch to GigaClear now. So we are now switching back to GigaClear. Uh, is connected and fine. So we will now go back uh, to the instructions. Wi-Fi has been switched to GigaClear. Confirm yes. Registering the gateway. Data uploading. View online data. Okay. Well, I think we've now got to add the weather station. Uh, so the indoor, it seems to have registered already. Really? Can't see how. No, I don't think so, mateys. Oh, hang on, yeah, has that just changed? No, it's clearly not connected to ours. Well, it seems like it uh, has. It definitely seems to have connected to the sensor. Um, We've got, this is their own app, and uh, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this very clearly, but the outdoor, which is obviously sat here at the moment, uh, temperature 63.9, I don't know if that could be right, humidity, yeah, indoor is saying it's 67.3 uh, Fahrenheit. I've got 64 on there and 78% humidity, so I don't see how that can be right uh, at all. Anyway, we'll uh, change the title. Blah, blah, blah. Solar and UV. Let's see if we can blow the wind sensor. I don't know how often this updates. Certainly not getting anything registered at the moment. What about if we move the wind direction indicator? See if that changes. Now we've got a we've already inserted the batteries, yes. Remove this sticker, press the reset button to start sensor operations. I don't really see how it is doing anything much at the moment. So we're going to remove the solar panel sensor. The reset button is uh, under here somewhere. It's flashing away red, uh, so it looks like it's uh, communicating. We're just not getting the right figures. So let me just grab a pen and we'll just press that reset button. Did it say for any particular length of time? Where's the label? Press reset. No, so we're just going to press the reset. There we go. Let go. Red light is on solid. It's gone off. And now it's flashing away. So I'm going to spin the vane round so it's pointing a different direction and let it update. Yeah, we do are registering a wind speed now. I don't know how quickly this updates. So it has registered wind speed and a wind gust. So 
seems to me that when that will when that will update will be uh, okay. So sensor array battery is normal, a lightning sensor uh, and temper and humid, yeah, all the batteries are okay. And yes I did, <laughs> I couldn't help myself, I did go and get the lightning sensor as well. Uh, something that's pretty stupid is it gives you this uh, mast clamp, uh, the other bits in the box, but it's not the same size as the uh, mast that this goes on, which is pretty annoying. So I'm probably going to have to use uh, cable ties and uh, cable tie this to the mast. Uh, so as I say, they really should have done with a mount that was the, I think it's, is it two inch? Yeah, whatever that is, that is the mast size. They should have produced the mount uh, that is that size. So you can put all this on the same mast. Uh, this can be just screwed into a, a you know a, a panel or post or you know anything, uh, but I wanted it up on the mast. So uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, whether the lightning sensor works or not, we shall see. I've got it set on um, medium sensitivity. Uh, this looks like it is all working. So that is. Excellent. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, obviously that's got to be mounted. That's got to go up on the mast. Uh, west is uh, going to be that way. Sorry, that way. So pretty much north is where the rain uh, collector cup will face. And, I couldn't find any matches. And there we go. We'll uh, get that up and. Uh, test it over the next few days. Uh, you can see now that we have the red Wi-Fi light connected and the uh, blue RF so it's obviously chatting away to these sensors. You can have multiple sensors, soil sensors, extra outdoor and indoor uh, sensors but this is, uh, this is all I need. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is plug this in somewhere uh, more convenient. Uh, we're going to stretch out the antenna wire and uh, should be good to go. We'll then get it registered on uh, Weather Underground and uh, hopefully we'll be back to a fully functional uh, system. So uh, yeah, pretty easy setup on the app. Uh, got no complaints with that. Uh, that app is far better than the um, uh, Aircus uh, one. That is uh, very nice. It's all switchable from centigrade to Fahrenheit all that sort of stuff uh, so um, yeah I hope that was useful if you're thinking of getting one of these I'm pretty impressed so far but let's get it up on the mast and uh, see where we go okay so uh, we are done we've uh, got the lightning sensor a little bit lower down where I can easily reach it and uh, the main units right at the top uh, on the mast and if we go back to the display uh, you can see well outdoor temperatures it was last reported 28 seconds ago so it looks like the minimum is uh, one minute uh, we've got sunrise time sunset time and we go to the indoor temperature and humidity and uh, you can change the order that these appear in. It's showing us the uh, solar information and uh, ultraviolet index which is uh, not going to be very high today at this time of day. Uh, rainfall, uh, wind speed is uh, from the east southeast. And let me see, we've got the flag, does that correspond? Uh, north, east, south, east, yes that would be right. Uh, pressure, well that's to be determined. Lightning, uh, nothing. Temperature and humidity, channel 1. And then we've got the battery uh, array information. Uh, sensor array, normal. Lightning sensor, fully charged. Temper and humidity sensor, the indoor sensor, uh, normal. So. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll uh, see if we can get that connected to Weather Underground 
um, but yeah looking good so far uh, so that was the EcoWit uh, GW1101 uh, Wi-Fi weather station 7 in 1 and I also bought the uh, lightning sensor as well hope that was useful